Hey folks, it's Gary here. Welcome back to my channel Relationship Haven. In today's story, Opie found out his wife cheated on him after he noticed that she happened to be texting her affair partner during her son's birthday party. She sure does sound to have her priorities straight in life afterward. Opie confronted her and then kicked her out. Now her life is a wreck. Let's get into today's story. Let's start off with a small recap. My wife moved out a while ago and in the meantime, met and had sexual contact with other men. She claims her cheating is due to childhood trauma for which she now wants to go to therapy for not sure if she's actually doing it. I have since tried to keep the contact to a minimum and only discuss things that concern the children. This has worked more or less because we still had a lot of contact, especially because of the upcoming birthday of one of our children. I felt better, but of course, still had many bad thoughts about what she does or doesn't do in regards to men during the last conversation. She assured me that she will not meet any other men anymore because she doesn't want to and she has to find out what she really wants first. I was sure that she does it anyway, but had no proof. Then was the birthday of my child. We were together with the family. She was of course also present for me. It was super weird. I felt really uncomfortable because she portrays this happy life and speaks to me while everything is broken. I also felt that something was weird. The kid's birthday party was planned for the day after I called her in the morning and told her I thought it would be better if she didn't come. The kids were with me that day. Anyway, I explained why but she insisted on coming. The party was going well, the kids had fun and all, but I couldn't resist. And then it happened, I checked her cell phone and read the messages that she was, of course seeing one or two men and that they were also coming to her house and spending the night. I must say that I mentioned several times that I didn't want my children to sleep in the same bed where she was doing things with men. She agreed with me and said she didn't want that either in an angry reaction. I told her to leave the party when she asked why I told her that I had read her messages. After that it escalated a bit. She was angry because I had disregarded her privacy. I didn't care. I told her how she can be so dishonest and that she should leave. I then told her that I never wanted to see her again. She tried to justify herself with sentences like I tried not to see him again, but I'm only human and weak, blah, blah, blah. It got a bit ugly in the conversation. But then she left Black Small Square later, I got a message where she admitted to sleeping with men and that she will continue to meet with one. She said she doesn't give a crap about me now and she doesn't care about my feelings anymore. She talked about how great the sex is. She also wants to report me for violating her privacy. She thinks I hacked her phone or installed some software, but I still had a fingerprint registered and said I provoked her for me. This was the final line. I now have an appointment with the lawyer and will file for divorce. But what makes it hard is the sentence about the sex. I realized that she wrote that out of anger to hurt me, but it still knocked my confidence. Our sex life was always okay, but nothing special. I was her first and she was always rather reserved to discovering her own sexual passion and had also mentioned earlier that she liked her experience. I'm also afraid that now it will come to an ugly divorce and it will be more of a rose war also regarding the children and the fact that they will eventually see their mother with another man. I had a conversation yesterday with my daughter close to 10 years old who doesn't want to be with her mother because she feels uncomfortable there. 
She was sad because she wants her mother to move back in. I tried to explain to her why that is not going to happen. I told her that it has nothing to do with the children that mom still loves her and that I love her more than anything and will always be there for her. I'm not sure how much I can tell my daughter something like she is dating other men. I think is rather wrong to say. I'm also really scared about the future and how I'll feel how my kids will be. How long will it take me to get over my wife, etc. Update. After thinking more about the situation, I realized I wanted to limit personal contact to an absolute minimum and do only what is necessary because of the children and started to follow through a couple of weeks ago. I had planned a ski weekend with my kids just before we left. One of my kids started making a scene because they didn't want to clean up the room. This led to discussions and to the point that the child said they didn't want to go with me and want to stay with their mother. So I told the child to call their mother and clarify it. Of course, it wasn't an option because of work and who knows what else. I was very emotionally charged at this time because I was really looking forward to the weekend. And so were the kids and because I still blame my soon-to-be ex for the shattered situation and how my kids feel, I had talked several times with the child about how they feel and of course, they're doing really bad with it quite the opposite of what their mother thinks that it must have no effect on the children. Black small square anyway, I then took the phone because I wanted a confirmation of what is now the matter. It got a little out of hand again because I expressed to my soon-to-be ex what I think about it and why it happened. She hung up on me and I sent her a one-line email with the words you can hang up. But that doesn't change the truth. The whole thing was like before an emotional act on my side. Meanwhile, I managed to let the situation cool down first and then react this in turn triggered a very long answer from her. Also, definitely emotionally written in which she described her truths. I will not elaborate here, but it was about what I did wrong and how I treated her wrong also that she doesn't regret the affairs. One of them led to an abortion. How can you not regret that? So, again, completely trying to shift the blame and responsibility onto me black small square also. And this is the critical point she wrote. The truth is that I don't want you in my life anymore and I am ready to divorce you. I took the opportunity to respond to her BS and present things objectively to show her what kind of bubble she's living in. And I took the opportunity to point out to her that she's going to get a letter from my lawyer soon anyway, about the divorce, I explained to her in detail and objectively why I have no more hope for us. And then came the answer. I did not intend to divorce, but apparently you have planned and organized everything I did not care and I did not go further into it by replying. The fact is that she is screaming for a divorce with all her behavior and the things she says, maybe not in the illusory world that she has built up because according to her, she thinks we would probably stay married and be a family with everything that to it. But she may continue to see other men. This has shown me that she is absolutely not aware of what she has done and has not reckoned with the consequences. Presumably, she must have been shocked by my information. Since then, our contact has been almost exclusively related to the children. I have set up an app with a shared calendar and through which we can communicate child-related things. Some time passed. And I was again with the children for 1.5 weeks on a ski vacation. 
and we had a great time in this first week. I reckon that she got the letter from my lawyer since I heard nothing. She wrote a text message that said she had received the letter and would read everything very carefully. I could literally feel her anger. She then made a few comments about the content which showed me that she was very emotionally charged. She probably thought at the beginning that I was just making an empty threat. And now she has seen that this is not the case as mentioned before. I also think that she is slowly realizing that her house of cards and wishful thinking is collapsing and she has to bear the consequences herself. Black small square black small square three days after she received the letter, she wrote me the following message. I will translate it roughly. I have been longing to apologize to you for everything that happened and that you had to suffer because of me and that I hurt you and that everything is destroyed. But I also want to thank you that I could grow up with you. I hope you know that I will always be there for you when you need me. And I mean, it, since we didn't make it as a couple, I would be very happy if we could be parents for the children. Thank you. What should I even think about this? What is she apologizing for, for everything? Of course, that makes it easy to not have to reflect properly. So she doesn't have to deal with what she did and still hopes for forgiveness for me. She is always there for me. Thanking me for growing up again. Obviously, she hasn't learned the most important lesson how to handle crises. And by that, I mean, the initial marriage crisis that probably triggered this and after which she ended up in a continuous downward spiral, she clearly wants absolution from me. I don't think she is waiting for an answer for me. I think it's more that she has now said the things she wanted to say and thinks she can now feel better about it. She also said that at one point, she will now start to try to see things more positively basically what I said to her for years and now she's doing it as she already destroyed our family. Oh, and because of the report for abuse of privacy, she has at some point claimed that she went to the police, but she will not report me. Of course not because she was probably told that she has nothing in hand and would only make a fool of herself. The divorce itself is initiated, but it takes between 6 to 12 months until the whole thing is through. What do you think? Should I answer? Or rather not? It's not about wanting to save the marriage somehow. I don't see any hope for it. Here's another update a week ago I had written and now I need advice again. I am struggling hard and I'm just hurt and angry against my deepest desire for revenge. I have not responded to the message of my soon-to-be ex last week because of the advice here. But the whole thing just won't let me go. I am sure she is living her life right now and is happy. I'm finally out of the marriage and I filed for divorce, which she probably wanted for a long time. She probably even has a new relationship already. I got my oldest child, a cell phone with which the kids can call me when I'm out of the house and what not on it is also the number of their mother stored because otherwise the kids use the home phone, which is much more expensive. Now, it happened that my eldest has tried to call their mother who has not picked up the soon-to-be ex then later sent a text message to the kid's phone asking who the number belongs to at 10 p.m. The cell phone was called with a suppressed number and three minutes later from their mother. 
so since I don't think my ex knows how to suppress the number, she was not alone. In addition, I contacted her Saturday through the co-parenting app because she had forgotten to do something kids-related. The answer was that she could only do it on Sunday. So she was definitely spending the weekend away probably with her new guy. I really want no contact, but it seems that there is always some info coming to me that gives reason for speculation and I absolutely cannot handle the fact that my ex is already happily in a relationship. She has no right to it, in my opinion. While the kids and I suffer, this is killing me and I don't know how to deal with it. I don't want this to constantly haunt me and make me feel bad because I'm triggered everywhere. I'm probably additionally so angry because I know that as a divorced male with three kids, it's virtually impossible to meet a woman. I know because I tried, even though I don't think I am ready, I also tried without stating that I have kids which worked better, but sure that won't lead to a real relationship. Of course, she has no problem finding someone as a good-looking and naive young mother. You are certainly an easy target or fetish for some. I doubt that most of them want something serious, but just take advantage of it. How do you deal with it? How do I change my mindset and not care about her anymore? Why do I love and hate her? At the same time, black small square Opie, here are my thoughts on the situation. Your mind is still in the early stage that is confused, angry, frustrated and sad as well as other waves of emotions. It does not matter if she is in a relationship or not, eventually, you will be in one as well. It seems you have not changed your ideal mental identity of her to a more accurate identity. You seem to be caught up in who you thought she was and have not come to the conclusion that that person never existed but was made up in your mind. Don't rush healing and don't date before you're ready. You taking notice that you are not and taking steps not to are a good bit of self-reflection and would be unfair to them until you are in the right headspace. Your story is a lesson about being decisive and pulling off the band-aid and not letting things drag on you guys were separated but living together for a year. Then you fully separated after that for another six months before she started seeing other men. Your relationship was done for a long time but you two dragged your feet in fully accepting it and divorcing. You need to accept that she has moved on. She doesn't want you anymore. It sucks being rejected. No one wants that, but you two were separated for 1.5 years before she had sex with others. I wish the best for you black small square and hope you can move on soon. Good luck. Thanks for taking the time to listen to today's story. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so and comment below on what your thoughts are on today's story. If there's a story you would like to share with me about your own situation or someone else's, then please do not hesitate to contact me.